In today's Sunday conversation, a man who's been recognized by many as one of the world's most influential scientific minds. And now he's the dean of Bauer College of Business at the University of Houston. Our Owen Confletti sits down with Paul Pavlou and talks about his time growing up in the country of Cyprus, his professional basketball career, and how he went from engineer to dean. Uh, who taught you about the value of higher education? Well, I think it's, I've always believed in uh, education and uh, um, I mean, my life was transformed by higher education. I mean, I came from a small uh, country in the Mediterranean, it's called Cyprus, uh, not many people uh, know about it, uh, about a million uh, people. Uh, and uh, uh, so my life uh, was transformed by higher education. I was fortunate to get a Fulbright uh, scholarship to come to the United States and uh, uh, without getting into details, uh, uh, because of higher education, I was able to get into uh, to academia as a faculty member and uh, more recently as a dean. So part of the reason to become a dean uh, is because I, I think I can you know, make a big difference. Uh, hopefully I can secure more scholarships for students or work, uh, as I mentioned earlier, as part of our strategic plan to make uh, education more accessible, more affordable, so we can help more students to achieve the dream of higher education, to get a good job uh, and have uh, successful uh, careers and uh, you know, rewarding lives, if you may. I did want to ask you about basketball. Okay. Because that's just that's just interesting. Tell me a little bit about the basketball career. You played for the national team? That's right. So yes. did, you, did you ever play a, uh, for a world championship? I mean, how, what was that experience like? Well, we played actually for, uh, in multi since I remember myself, I was playing uh, basketball up until in the, uh, in, in the men's uh, national team. So we played uh, all sorts of uh, uh, championships at the local, regional, national, and the European Cup. So uh, it was a, you know, a great experience, especially being uh, younger, uh, and uh, you know to, to play and be on TV and uh, and of course the, the spirit of competition is uh, uh, you know, it's very important so of course it's hard work and that uh, uh, you know kind of prepared me for you know later on in uh, in life when I realized that you know, you know I'm not as uh, fast as as strong and as, as tall to be at the at the NBA so academics uh, you know had to you know uh, take the the uh, you know the, uh, the priority but uh, it, it's been a great experience and uh, uh, you know, I always you know, look back at all the you know, competitions, all the events, and uh, uh, you know, I think very fondly of uh, you know, that experience. Is there anything you, uh, that you learned, lessons from basketball that you now apply to business? Absolutely, yes. Actually, one of them is, uh, is not very clear but, uh, to, to most people. Yes, you have to be competitive, but uh, basketball is a team sport. And you have to get along with uh, with people, with your uh, with your uh, uh, teammates. So how to manage the the politics of uh, basketball actually can help you into the uh, into a career in uh, you know in, in in business because you have to get along with people, you have to communicate, and actually it's a very hard in basketball because you have to, you know, it's a very you know it, it's a uh, it's a physical sport. So you have to do everything while running like crazy and jumping up and down. So it actually helps you how to interact with with people, how to be a good uh, teammate, you know, how to play, uh, you know, well with others. So while at the same time you want to compete, you want to do uh, well. So that spirit of competition and the spirit of uh, collaboration together uh, has been quite uh, powerful. Is there a moment in time that you remember in your life that was crucial to getting you here today? In other words, you know, was there that time where you could have made a left, but you made a right, and, 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 it, and it brought you here? Or, or, you know, something somebody said, a personal moment that was really critical to your success that you found? I think so, yes. Actually, at, uh, uh, well, I was an engineer by training, and uh, I was, uh, I think it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, fighting with code in MATLAB, if you know, uh, and I was like, I'm a good engineer, but uh, I, I don't think I can spend the rest of my life uh, uh, doing this. So I, I decided to look for other opportunities, and uh, uh, that's where I, um, I got in touch with the business school. So I talked to some uh, faculty there. So they explained to me that, yes, you can use your hard quantitative skills, but you can apply them into, into a software in business. And uh, uh, information systems was uh, at the time um, you know, growing with the dot com uh, boom in the late 90s. And I said, this is very, very interesting things that um, I can use my 
competencies and skills in engineering and can apply them into something, you know, more open-ended. The dean recently set a series of five goals for the school. One, to become a world-class business school providing leading curriculum. Two, be more affordable and accessible as an institution. Three, to become a leader in digital education. Four, to become a role model among business schools for diversity and inclusion. And finally, harness the power of alumni to create mutual benefits for them and its students. I've got goals too. Yes, be those the, are great goals. Uh, those are great goals. And he's a great, there's a great story that he's telling there as well. Yeah. Wonderful.